this is the bill, and that's when I paid, and that's the amount that I paid. No, no, no. Did you pay it by check? Did you pay it by credit that's card? The, that's the city of Austin balance. Listen to me carefully. Yes, ma'am. I see city of Austin utility balance $286. That is divided Deb, Deb Pauletta. Yes. Who's that? She gave me $60 on the bill, and uh, I applied that to it, and then uh, my part was 90 That's it. That's, I paid that, 90 that, and just then I paid the 300 Show me that, that you paid it. That's the receipt. No, it isn't. It's in... January of 2017 was the last payment that was made was April 28th. Yes. You paid $300. Yes, ma'am. I want you that, to show me that you paid it. That's the receipt from the city. I did pay it. And then she paid 60 and it shows the 60 that she no, paid. No, it doesn't. The 60 that it shows was from 2016. Yes, she moved in 2016. I'm not getting she involved did pay with that. that. All right, you want to... Tell me about the phone now. Yes. I How much did the... you sell the house for, by the way? I, it, I, the, I had a selling the, price of the, 200 I reduced it the, to 190 I asked you a question. Let's I sold get... it for 190 And when had you purchased the house? In, oh, we, 1991. From whom? It was a man remodeling houses in the area, Mr. And, Sanders. And in 1991, how much did you pay for the house? In 1990, I paid uh, 45 And since you bought the house in 1990, have you always used it as a business and rented it? I, I lived there. From when to when? I lived there until from 1991 until 2009. So from 2009 until 2017, you rented it? Yes, ma'am. So you used it as a business? Uh, well, I, I started renting it in 2011 because I went to take care of my mother. She was sick. My son lived there. So, so I your son started lived there. So you had use of it? Yes, ma'am. And then you used it as a business? Yes, ma'am. Fine. And you did pretty well. If you bought it for 45 you sold it for 190 you made a neat, a neat tidy profit. Yes. Right, good. I refinanced, All right, it. Now I you refinanced want... it twice. So what? Well, I owed more money on it. <laughs> I refinanced so, it for 65 well, What did you do with the... You refinanced, you took the money and you spent it. I remodeled it. But you took the money and you spent it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, you want to tell me about this phone... 30 seconds. Let's go. The phone. I, I was at the house doing some repairs one day. I had my phone plugged in. She asked her son to plug it in. He plugged it in. I went to the store. Came when was this? The 27th of what? Of February. 27th of February? Yes. 2017. Okay. 2017. Now, money owed for moving fees. Why should she pay your moving fees? Because for one in April when I spoke with her, before I had to move out, April 15th, I had told her that I had already sent her money, the money that she kept saying that I owed on deposit and everything. So on the 15th, me and her spoke. She said, okay, I didn't realize that today is the 15th. She texted me back on the 16th and said, the case with me and you in Section 8 is canceled. Okay. I want you out of the unit. That Fine. gave me no time to look for a place to stay. Fine. That was March, ma'am. She moved out second. the end of April. Just you have a new place to live, I hope? Did you find a place that no, for yourself and eight children? No, we're still living in a hotel. Yeah, well, I want to tell you something, Miss Davis. Somebody's got to be in charge of eight children mm -hmm. all the time. It's not fair to trash somebody else's house. We didn't trash our house, ma'am. Yeah, you did. The house looks trashed. And I don't believe that you fixed it at all. And I believe in all probability that Miss Evans, when she sold the house, when somebody came in and looked at it, they said, oh, what a disaster. But they were going to remodel it, so it didn't make much difference. But you're not getting your security deposit back because you don't deserve it back. Cases dismissed. So is your counterclaim. We're done.